hey everyone welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing fine if you're new here you're welcome and i am tamara in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to make a green tea face serum As you guys know, green tea functions as a powerful antioxidant which protects the skin from damage by free radicals, it reduces signs of aging, hyperpigmentation and it also has anti-inflammatory properties. This recipe that I'm about to share with you guys is highly moisturizing. It will leave your skin feeling refreshed and radiant so if you've got really dry facial skin then you should try out this recipe. Um, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribe to my channel yet please don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications as in click on that tiny bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads all right guys let's get started to make this serum you will need deionized water but you can use tap water if you don't have access to deionized water if you intend to sell this serum it would be advisable to use deionized water due to its purity and it being more sterile than tap water but if this is just for your personal use then feel free to use tap water if that is what you want to use you will need vegetable glycerin like I said in my previous video, um, glycerin is one of the best moisturizing agents used in many skincare products and it's very affordable and accessible. You will also need aloe vera juice. You can buy the juice um, or you can make yours at home if you've got fresh aloe vera leaves. It's very easy to make. Just scoop out the gel from the leaf and then you blend it with some quantity of water and then save out the juice. But again, if you want to sell this serum um, that, I'm make, that I'm about to show you guys, then you need to buy the juice just so that you can be more consistent with the concentration of the juice. You will also need Xanthan gum. This is a very common thickener for food and skincare products. It is 100% natural. This is what I will use to thicken the serum that I'm about to make. You will need essential oils. The choice of essential oil that you want to use is up to you. I'll be using up to three different essential oils in this serum. You also need a preservative. This is not negotiable. It is not optional. If you want your serum to last long and if you want your serum not to go bad or anything, then you will need to add a preservative to this serum. And our star ingredient of the day is green tea. You can use any green tea of your choice. It is up to you. Then you will need a container to store your serum in. You can use a tube or you can use a bottle with a dropper pipette. This is the ideal kind of um, containers to use for this type of formulation. But feel free to use any container that you have, especially if you're making this for yourself at home. Then I don't think you need to stress yourself to go and get these types of containers if you don't need, if you don't have. But if you want to, then you can get this type of containers. I don't, I don't know if you get my drift, but yeah, um, these are the types of containers that I would use that is ideal for this serum formulation so guys i will leave the details to all the ingredients that i'm using in for this recipe in the description box below now let's get started to make this serum you will pour one quarter of a cup of deionized water or tap water whichever one you intend to use um, into a mixing bowl and then you will place one green tea bag into the mixing bowl as well then the next step is to place the mixing bowl into the microwave. Please make sure you're using a microwavable bowl. Then you heat up for up to two minutes. This process will help to infuse the green tea into the water. After two minutes, you can visibly see that the green tea has been properly infused into the water. Be careful because the bowl will be very hot. Then you have to remove the tea bag make sure to squeeze the tea bag to remove any excess liquid from the tea bag now that we have our green tea infused water the next step is to pour in one fourth of a cup of aloe vera juice 
then put in up to 10 drops each of any essential oil that you want to use um, i think i'm using peppermint essential oil um, lemongrass and orange essential oil after that you have to put in about five to six drops of the preservative into the mixture and then you stir the mixture till everything is fully incorporated in a separate container you pour in one tablespoon of glycerin and then you pour or you add half a teaspoon of xanthan gum into the glycerin then you start stirring the mixture till there are no more lumps of xanthan gum in the mixture Once that's done, you pour in the mixture of the glycerin and xanthan gum into the serum base and you keep stirring till the whole serum is sufficiently thickened up. I just want to quickly note that um, you have to be very careful with the amount of xanthan gum that you add to this mixture because if you add too much xanthan gum the mixture will turn into a very thick gel and that is not the consistency that we are going for if you want your serum to be a little bit thicker than mine just add a little bit more than half of a teaspoon of xanthan gum and you'll be good to go at this point I am very happy with the consistency of my serum and I'm going to transfer into my container right away. So guys, because the opening of my containers are really, really small, um, I'll be using a plastic pipette to transfer this into the containers. You can use a small funnel if you have, or you can use, or you can get um, a 10 ml syringe to help you transfer the product into the container. And of course, if you're not using this type of packaging, then you may not even need a plastic paper in the first place so it depends on the kind of container that you want to use if you're using this tiny um the small um dropper bottles or tubes then you need to get a pipette to help transfer the product into the bottles sorry into the containers okay beautiful people now that our serum is ready it's demonstration time Applying this serum on my face is usually the last step of my facial routine. Um, that is after cleansing, exfoliating and all of that. Um, this is because um, this serum helps to seal in the moisture on my facial skin and it helps my skin to feel really hydrated, refreshed and moisturized. Like, oh my god guys, this smells really really good and it feels really smooth too. I am telling you guys, you need to try this serum. It is absolutely amazing. I love it. And we have come to the end of today's video. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't hesitate to share this video with other people. And um, for those of you that decide to try this serum, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, please don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you don't if you haven't subscribed yet, and also turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I love you guys, and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.